So then, we are back with more understandings from the Renewed Covenant, from the Aramaic English translation of the Word. And these areas are related with the Renewed Covenant. And uh, as we understand from the original manuscripts of the Hebraic Holy uh, Scriptures, you can find very precisely that churches never existed and um, came up uh, truly the understanding of the time of Moshe when he first received the holy laws on the mountain and uh, then they started the uh, first service and when the Messiah then came they started the second service so then the understanding of the divine comes from the holy camps in each camp you having a tabernacle and that's where then people should have their instructions from so what they present as a savior wandering away from the tabernacles it's simply non-existent and could be considered as white magic of some sort because the churches simply never existed as per the original plan so then the Messiah when he first came he brought the first anointing so then his people the Hebraic people they would be then the um, shepherds of the Gentiles they would remain neutral they were not being involved in politics they are not to be involved in trades of the world and those areas then are very much depicted in the renewed covenant and Shariak Shaul then he gave many understandings and if you take the time to read the original manuscripts you will find very simply the um, portions of the renewed covenant and um, you'd find 99.5% of the entire renewed covenant are delegations of responsibilities of the set apart and only five or should say 0.5% are related with the Gentiles and those areas of the 0.5% are then simply directives of having the Gentiles waiting at the gates of the camps so it brings a new concept of understanding where the divine comes from and uh, lots of other religions they have interesting concepts because they consider the creator as being masculine and feminine at the same time and boy they are truly uh, having the proper understanding however the creator he depicts himself as a fatherly figure and rather than feminine figure but in himself obviously he does have the facet because he created both masculine and feminine but his primary authorship and authority is obviously from a father's viewpoint so then understanding the uh, renewed covenant only half of the Torah half of the prophets were then completed and the ignorance up there in terms of what people understand of church that never existed they also deny that the Torah then was yet not completed because they think the Torah was abolished that's where they get caught because churches never existed so either if you are a Satanist or you are Christian, Christian, the Christian word never existed either. It's from the Greco understanding of spirit. And the Messiah came as then the Son, and he remains neutral because he must be serviced in each tabernacle. So the whole century old, many centuries of fight from people and witches versus the churches absolutely at no use because churches never existed so then the point is the future of understanding the tabernacles that's the most important because the tabernacles are neutral and Shaliak Shaul was very clear regarding this point and it's truly ignorance from either side of the religious and 
anti-religious or any name that you use outside of understanding of the Holy Tabernacles. Simply ignorance. So then when Shaliak Shaul then was then teaching to the people, he was delineating areas of responsibilities while then the Gentiles would be waiting for further instructions. And that's what uh, the uh, most of the Renewed Covenant is based upon. If you are a person that gets uh, righteously indignated in trying to find fault in somebody else's life without understanding the Torah and the Prophets, then you should reevaluate your intentions. So then in Romans, Shaliak Shaul then explains a very interesting topic worthy of reading because if a person is waiting for further instructions they should try to find a camp of the Holy Hebrews otherwise they study the Torah, the Prophets and the Renewed Covenant So then there is a portion of the scripture where then Shaliyah Shaw gives some understanding of then the Creator gave them over to lusts and the destruction of themselves. These areas they have to do with the set apart people and not Gentiles. Very important understanding because there is a lot of confusion mixing Gentiles and set apart and they were never 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 mixed in terms of understanding the renewed covenant and in fact the previous covenant so then when Shaliak Shaul was given those directives and uh, he was then delineating the areas and the writings in fact when he wrote and if the Father then Yahweh gave them over to a debased spirit, those were the set apart that gave themselves over to the perverted grace. Those are not related with the Gentiles. So many people they think that uh, they can get around with the situation because they read the renewed covenant, they think it's for them and truly is not. What Shaul then is explaining is to his own people because they decide to live lives outside of the understanding of the tabernacles. This is what it means, plain and simple. And rather than remaining neutral, then they want some sort of a power always searching for, always there is another person that can give answers, always another person that has the fault. And always projecting other people their own crap rather than studying the word from the original manuscript. If you are searching for the Messiah, please visit the nearest camp. Never try to find the Messiah in someone else's life outside of the set-apart understanding. So then please stay tuned, much more coming up, as then Shaul has a whole lot more understandings for his own people, and then can delineate even more, and then can make a, an understanding much clearer from the original manuscripts. Please stay tuned.